Rolling along here, and always good to catch up with uh, a guy who's a head coach in the SEC, a new head coach yes. in the SEC, but a guy who's been doing it a long time. Great to get you on in the city of Houston. LSU head coach Brian Kelly, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Uh, so, coach, i got to come clean. I've always thought of you as a no-nonsense guy, a guy who demands excellence, but I'm talking to your players today, they're like, oh, Coach Kelly is hilarious. Like, what is this? Well, you got to have some fun along the way, too. I mean, you can't be serious all the time. And look, every time you guys see me, I'm in my office working right on the sideline. Right. There is another side of me, too, <laughs> right? But everything is about what you see on NBC, and uh, there's more sides to you. But, hey, I love the fact that, um, you know, when you get a chance to go to a new school like LSU, your players get a chance to see you who for, who you really are, and uh, we've had a great time building that relationship. What's been the the most challenging part so far of the new job? Well, I think early on putting the staff together. You know, we had to put a lot of support staff together, getting our organizational um, people together. Um, you know, a roster that was depleted, uh, making sure that we were able to really put together. Um, a competitive SEC football team. Look, there's no, you don't get a pass the first year. You got to go win some football games. So I think that was probably the most difficult time. And, and we were having to deal with, you know, some, you know, some uh, self imposed sanctions as well. Um, and all those things combined made it a challenge. Not, not, not anything that we didn't expect coming in. Um, but, but you put all those things together and make for a challenge. I think we're coming out on the other end now where, you know, we really can focus on our football team, developing our team, and, uh, you know, getting a chance to play a little football, and it's going to be fun. We saw you in Houston. You weren't coaching the team yet, but for right. the bowl game. But, I mean, was that kind of like an eye-opening, my God, like this roster? And, and depleted for different reasons, but, right. man, I got my work cut out for me. Yeah, I think at that point it became one where I, this is daunting in a sense that, you know, we've got a wide receiver that's a walk-on playing quarterback here. This is going to be some work. But, you know, uh, quite honestly, I think we, we knew as you pull back the layers that we had a number of players injured that were going to be coming back. We had some guys with academic issues that we thought we were going to fix. So I think all in all, I think that was kind of like – I hate to say this, but let's let's try to be competitive in this game and and put our best foot forward and play hard. Um, but better days are ahead. A lot of people have their problems with the transfer portal. There's some good, there's some bad, but you took advantage of it yeah. and, and you helped address a lot of needs. What's that kind of done for you this off season? Yeah, I think we used it the right way. I mean. Look, the transfer portal could really hurt you if you take the wrong kids and, and it upsets what you're trying to do. But, you know, we we're all kind of starting on this, you know, same kind of, you know, basic premise of, you know, bring kids in that are from Louisiana, if you can, um, that have a, a love and passion for LSU. And if not, then make sure it's good character kids that um, are the best players on their team. So I think we stayed with that. We were committed to it. And it's helped our football team. It looks like you've kind of hit the ground running with recruiting. I know you can't talk about specific guys, yeah. but uh, the Houston area is a very important area. Oh, yeah. LSU's always recruited them well. What advantages do you have coming over from Notre Dame? I mean, you, you recruited everywhere. Yeah. I, w w the contacts that we have, the ability to set up a personnel office that, that can stretch all the way across the country, um, I think has been helpful for, for me in terms of my vision, in terms of how we put together our personnel office. You know, we're going to – it's split – 80% of it is, is obviously high school talent, a little bit 20% we'll, we'll keep an eye on the transfer portal. But um, I think that's helped though, quite a bit to allow us to do our recruiting in the state of Louisiana and then obviously stretching into some important areas that you mentioned, like Houston and the state of Texas. How excited are you to just uh, be able to run out that the tunnel for the first time in Death Valley. Yeah, I mean, it's a long time coming. I, we Certainly we had the spring game, but that's nothing like that first time when <laughs> we were going to play Southern at night, and that stadium will be sold out, and, and just to get that atmosphere uh, is, you know, one of the bucket lists, right? You know, who wouldn't want to be able to have that? Um, so, excited about that opportunity. I've seen you on the practice field in the shorts and the light shirt. I mean, temperature a little bit different, right? Uh, quite a bit. Um, yeah. I, you know, listen, I played golf uh, a couple of weeks ago in Baton Rouge, and it was like I never, you know, this <laughs> dripping sweat. I'm Are like, you a sweater like me? I'm a oh sweater. Oh, my gosh. I mean, look, I mean, I love to play golf, but I don't know if I want to play in this kind of weather. So, yeah, um, yeah I mean, it's going to be, a, you know, a, a different climate. But, look, when you're coaching and you love what you're doing, um, just drink a lot of water, you'll be fine.
a short drive for fans, uh, LSU fans all along the I-10 corridor to come see you guys opening the season with Florida State. Yeah. I mean, look, sometimes you get uh, an easier team, I guess. And sometimes you get a big dog like that. It's a big one to start That's your career, right? That's a team. Yeah, no. <laughs> Florida State's no joke. I mean, this is going to be a good football team. They took When I was at Notre Dame, they took us to overtime. And it's a team that's going to play physical, fast, um, well-coached. Um, Mike Nord is, look, he's a winner. Norvell won at Memphis, and uh, he's got a really good pedigree. And uh, he'll have that team ready to play. We'll have to play well. Coach, thanks so much for the time. I know you got to run, and I uh, really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on. All right, thank you.